Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of Spider-Punk number one. Uh, let's take a look at the creative team and then I'll get into the book a little bit. Uh, so this book is written by Cody Sigler with Justin Mason Art uh, and Jim uh, Carla, Carla Pides, uh Colors. I apologize for the butchering of the name. Um, with Travis Lightham on letters and a beautiful cover by Olivia Copiel and Alejandro Sanchez. Um, so if you're not familiar back in, um, uh, I don't know, the 20, 2012, maybe 2013, whenever the, the first, uh, spider verse event happened, we were introduced to this version of Spider-Man, Spider-Punk, uh, Hobby Brown from a different dimension. Uh, so now we, he finally gets his own series and it's really cool to see, um, the arachnic Spider-Punk back on the pages. Uh, so the synopsis here said to protect. Uh, Earth 138 with his axe in hand, and that's his guitar, uh, and his chaotic band of punk and rock heroes, him um, backing him up. Uh, Nor Norman Osborn is dead, but will the chaos he's created be too much for Spider Punk and Gang to handle? Feel the vibes as Cody Sigler and Justin Mason bring you the jams when, b when Band in DC, that's the name of the story, begins here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I really. Out of all the characters that came out of uh, Spider Verse, the original time, um, Spider Gwen was instantly one of my favorites. Uh, I'm glad that she had so much success in her own series. I'm not too, I don't like the the name change to Spider Ghost. I understand why they had to give her a new name if she's going to be more in the in the Marvel universe. But whatever, that regardless. Uh, but Hobby Brown, this was another one. Like Spider Punk was another one of the. Um, books that I really enjoy, the characters that came out of that. And I think big part of it, and here let's take a look at the art as I talk about this, a big part of it is just the aesthetic and kind of like the, I mean, look, punk is cool, right? And like punk in comics, it's even cooler. I think um, Mason does a fantastic job capturing that feel. We have this uh, version of Craven the Hunter, uh, but then when we look at our heroes, here comes a uh, spider punk swinging in with Captain Anarchy. Um, so this world, it's all about the punk, all about the anarchy, all about the rebellion. Uh, this is a very interesting world where I think you can tell really fun stories. Uh, but the art is what really sells me on this book. I love the character designs and we'll get to see some more characters, but even just the fights, um, bright colors, big pages, just really, really cool. Like, uh, it's not exactly like manga style, but it, there's a lot of influence, I think, in there for me, just in the way the characters move um, and, and just the, like, I don't know, like some of the panels where you just kind of zoom into a character's face. Uh, really, really fun stuff. But yeah, I mean, just even even the pages that there's not even a lot of action going on. Um, you get to see some really cool poses. And like I mentioned, the character designs are so cool. Um, I don't know. This is just right up my alley with like, just give me some fun stuff that I can look at and have a good time. Uh, but there's still like an interesting story, an interesting message. Cause like, you know, this is all about kind of rage against the machine type of, uh, stuff. And, um, you know, there, it's not subtle with the, with the character like Captain Anarchy instead of Captain America. So yeah, very cool stuff. Um, I really enjoy this. I'm going to keep picking up these issues because I really like to see Hobby Brown as uh, Spider-Punk. Uh, and then figure out, are they going to keep him isolated in his Earth? Is this going to be a story that takes place all just in his Earth? Uh, are we going to see some other heroes from the Spider-Verse? Um, so, yeah, very interesting stuff. Uh, I'm going to leave you with a look at some of the variant covers, which, man, it's going to be tough picking out which one to pick up, if not all three uh, that I have here. But, um, yeah, super excited. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned because we have more trailer reactions, comic reviews, uh, TV recaps, movie reviews, all that good stuff. Uh, so, yeah, here's uh, some of those covers. And make sure to subscribe. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.